Hi everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Hi, I'm Taylor. I am a second year student at the University of Melbourne and thank you for clicking on. In anticipation of the new school year, I thought that I would share how I take my lecture notes at uni. This method has kind of evolved over my first year of uni and I finally found something that works well for me. So I thought that I would just share it with you. Before we get into it, if you are keen for more uni content or college content, make sure that you subscribe. I have so much in store for the year and I hope have also already uploaded so much uni and school related content so go and check that out but for now let's get straight on into this video by firstly introducing the app that I use and that app is OneNote so if you haven't heard of OneNote it is Microsoft's note-taking app it syncs across all devices which I absolutely love and I will quickly show you around if you want to skip this bit and go straight to my note-taking then I will link the timestamp just here and you can skip ahead to that but if you haven't used OneNote before then let me quickly show you around okay so welcome to my OneNote. This is already a little insight into how I take my notes but the reason why I love OneNote the most is because of its notebooks. So OneNote has notebooks which you can see here I have used for my subjects. It also has sections and then it has pages so it's really good for organizing and keeping everything in the right place. When you add a new page it is completely blank so you've got the title up here and then the page can be as big or as small as you want which is so good because you can just keep writing and going. To add a new text in you literally just click wherever you want on the page and start writing. Writing. You can insert tables, you can insert PDFs into there, pictures, lots of shapes, which I love to use. Another really good function, especially if you have an iPad, is the draw section. And this is kind of hard on a laptop, but if I ever want to draw anything, I do have an iPad. Like I said before, OneNote syncs between devices. I can just open up my iPad and OneNote on my iPad, and then I can draw straight into what I was just doing on my laptop. So it has like pen, marker, highlighter, and all of that stuff you can lasso select as well, which is super helpful. And then it has different views as well. So it's super customizable. It basically does everything that you would need in a note-taking app. So that was just a super quick run through of what OneNote is. So let me show you how I have set mine up. So firstly, in my notebooks, I have one notebook per subject. So each subject kind of differs with its setup. So I'll just show you firstly what my psychology one looks like. So in my psychology one, I have sections for each of the topics that we did. Because all of the topics were quite separate, it's like we were doing five different subjects almost in the one subject. So for me, that made the most sense. And then within each of the topic sections, I have my pages, which I've split up by lectures. So that's how I organized my psychology one. For education, for example, I did it purely by weeks. For each week, I had just a lecture and sometimes some activities to do as well. So that's how I actually set up for each of my subjects. So now onto the actual note taking itself. So for my readings, it kind of depends. For this one, for example, I have put the PDF in as a link. If I double click this, it will come up as a PDF here and then I can just read it straight away. So that's also super helpful for me to keep all of my readings and all of the subject resources in one place. And then I just take some brief notes underneath it if I need to. For one of my psychology readings, I did it a bit differently and, and I imported it as a printout view so you can import the PDF to look like this and then on my iPad I went through and annotated it using the highlighter and using the texts so that is another way of how I take notes of my readings this is what a typical lecture note page would look like so this is one lecture I just put L for lecture and then the number of the lecture at the top and the title of it and then normally at the start of most lectures they will give kind of like an outline of the main subheadings of the lecture so I use that to create these headings here I do write them out beforehand I don't really format them and I've downloaded the font fashion fetish and that is the font that I have used for all of my headings throughout all of my notes before I sit down to take my notes from my lectures, I need to set up everything. So the first thing that I do is obviously get the lecture up. I have a Chrome extension downloaded called Picture in Picture, and that enables me to play my lecture or any video in the corner of my screen or wherever I want it to. So I'm just gonna show you for the sake of it using a YouTube video, but the same goes for any lecture. And then what I do is I go back to my OneNote. Unfortunately, it can't be full screen. You can make it basically full screen if that makes sense. So what I will do is I will press add page. I will type in what lecture number it is, and then I will type the title. Then I will start playing. So then what I will do is I'll just go to an old lecture. I will copy this title that I've made and paste it 
into the new one and I will say topic one, I'll put the title and then I'll copy that and put it over here and say topic two and then if there's another one, I'll do topic three. Then the lecturer will start talking. So I have changed my normal text to the font that I want, which is Bell MT at size 12. And to set that kind of font as your default text, you go to preferences and then you go to edit and view and you will see default font and you can set your default. So that is the font that I like the most. And then the person will start talking and I will take notes. I use bold for subheadings and then I just do dot points. Then if a graphic comes up, so like a diagram or a table or a picture that I want to insert, I will do one of two things. I'll either swipe over to the lecture slides that I downloaded before and find what slide we're up to and then take a screenshot. Or I normally just go here, maybe make it a bit bigger. And then I just press Command Shift 4 and take a screenshot. And then I'll just drag it from the bottom corner straight in like that. Then right at the end of the lecture, once the lecture is over, that's when I fix up the formatting. So the first thing that I do is go through and kind of shift things around, make sure it all fits in nicely. And then I will go up here to the insert button and I will grab this square and I will just drag it over the text. Most of the time it will remember the formatting that you used last time. So I normally have it on one point and it's normally black. Next time I draw that square or rectangle, it'll come up as black. That's just what a normal lecture um, page will look like. But that is a super, super fast way that I take notes of all my lectures. And I think that is all. I hope that was helpful for some of you who are kind of just still trying to figure out how to take your notes effectively. But that is all until my next video and I will see you then. Bye.